The police have arrested an NDF consultant who was in possession of high-powered firearms. But the consultant's wife insists that the police planted the evidence. Here's the rest of that story. Kasi eh, hindi ko alam kung saan nyo dadalhin. No. No, hindi ako naniniwala. I want to ride here. I am not leaving my husband. This woman created a scene over the headquarters of the NCRPO after authorities arrested her husband. She's the wife of National Democratic Front consultant Vicente Ladlad. Authorities earlier raided Ladlad's residence in Novaliches, Quezon City. They seized high-caliber firearms, including an AK-47, M16, and four grenades. These instruments of death and violence were confiscated from the possession and control of the following persons. Vicente Ladlad, alias Eduardo M. Reyes, alias Boss Ed and, and General Reyes, a member of the Communist Party of the Philippines, Central Committee, and head of the National United Front Commission, and Juan Antonio M. De Jesus, and an alias Ate Ana. But Ladlad's wife accused the police of planting the seized weapons. She insisted that her husband is too old and sick to be able to handle such a high-caliber firearm. Everything is a lie. They planted guns on him, no? Between, no? Ito lang, no? Certain hours, no? Habang, habang uh, hinuhuli nila, no? Nagplant sila ng baril, no? Tapos, ang challenge ko ngayon, sinabi ko sa media kanina, I challenge General Alveade and it happens to be his birthday right now. I want each and every gun, no, fingerprinted, no, wala silang makikita ni isang tuldok, no, ng fingerprint ni Navit kasi lahat non planted. The NCRPO denied the allegation. They said that the raid was conducted with due process. Lagi namang ganun yung depensa, but kagaya sinabi ka natin, before the search was conducted, uh, tinawag natin itong uh, Barangay Tanod as well as the President of Home Owner Station kasi yun ang uh, requirement di ba, para doon sa search. And uh, they, they certified that the, the search was conducted uh, in an uh, uh, orderly manner. Before Ladlad was brought to Camp Karingal, the police had to assure his wife that the consultant and suspects are in safe hands. Sasakay ako dito kasi hindi ko alam kung saan niyo siya dadalhin. Dito rin po tayo sa Camp Karingal sa office po natin. Okay, gusto ko ngayon malaman saan yung saan yung matandang couple na kasama niya. You are impeding our police work. Yes, but you are violating my rights because I don't know where you are bringing my husband, sir. He is being bringing to the camp, to my camp in Camp Karingal. Ladlad and his companions will be charged with violating the Comprehensive Firearms and Ammunitions Regulation Act. The National Police clarified that Ladlad's arrest has nothing to do with President Duterte's order to go after NDF consultants following the cancellation of peace talks. Malacanang also maintained that the arrest was above board. The JASIG is operative only if there are peace talks ongoing. But that has been terminated by the proclamation of the president on, on November 23, 2017. Secondly, the crime of rebellion is a continuing crime, and therefore no warrant of arrest is needed for that. Jess De Los Santos, We Are One News. Salud.